This season of Comic Trips is brought to you by Hakes Americana and Collectibles, Tiki Tiki Board Games, and Luke and Cade's Toy Chest. Check the links in the description below for more information. Night, Paul. I actually slept pretty well. I mean, the margarita helped. Did you guys the get margaritas? No, the, 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 the margaritas. The plural? Help. Plural help. margaritas? Had two margaritas. Um, I they, feel they like... They were enormous margaritas. They were massive? They were massive. Okay. I went to bed because I had like the beginnings of a migraine, so I was like, I'm tapping out. You guys go have fun. I have to say though, our sleep was significantly better this time around. We're in York, PA, and we did not stay in the La Quinta. Compliments of Hakes Americana. They were they complimented us our our accommodations. Compliments of where? Of Hakes Americana. They they did they they graciously paid for our hotel, so we were able to stay in a nicer hotel and not be woken up 1,800 times like last time. They heard about our debacle last they time. They heard about our debacle, so they um, provided our accommodations at the Courtyard Marriott in York, PA. So thanks, guys. We needed that. Today's a bit of a mystery day. Justin and Penelope are along with us for the ride. Say hello. Hello, hi. Hello. Yeah. I mean, I'm sure they have a general idea of where we're going, but they have no idea what's in store for them today. Nope. I don't even practically know what's in store for me today. All I know is I was told I'm going to cry. Yes. I didn't bring tissues. Couldn't wait to come cry. I was told <laughs> I may cry and that I should bring a change of pants, perhaps. Yes, that's, you'll probably. That's that's all. I'm aware or of. pee. Yeah. Something is going to happen to you in your body. <laughs> You're going to relieve yourself. You're going to relieve yourself. You will lose control of some type of function. We knew about it and we saw two pieces from it while we were there last time, but we don't even we don't even know the scope of this. So what we do know is is that we were like one mile away from the destination. So this might contend with Big Apple Con as the shortest intro we ever do. I do have to say though, in the last episode, I saw a few people saying that they have to come here. I want to mention again that this is not a spot where you can just show up and go shopping. Hey, I'd like to see your stuff. So if you guys see something that you are interested in, you'll have to create a an account online and go and bid, bid on it. Guys, thank you for inviting us to whatever is about to happen. You're welcome. When we heard about this, that, those were the first words out of our mouth were, yep. Justin and Penelope. Justin and Penelope need to see this. Yes. I, I don't know if it's gonna, can't I mean. imagine what I, I'm about to be walking into. It's good. Some of our viewers know what it is because we've discussed amongst a few of a you. A piece or two here and there. Was that in your in your Patreon only group? Yes. Yeah, actually it yeah. was. So I'm excited. I I'm just long for the ride. Yeah, this is gonna be good. I can't wait to poop myself. I've been, I've been waiting for this honestly for months. Like when did we when were we here last? A few months ago. A while. What exactly is Hakes? So, Hakes has been around since 1967. They're online auctions, and they have catalogs, and they get consignments from people all over the world. Oh, there they are. Oh man, they're waiting outside. I don't like what Oh, and he's got his Star Wars shirt. They both have Star Wars shirts on. Ha ha ha! I feel like maybe there's a Star Wars thing that might be happening. Yes. <laughs> you, can, you would be correct in that assumption. <laughs> Today's content is Star Wars based. So... My heart is going doo -doo, doo -doo, doo -doo, as it should be. All right, guys, we'll check back with you on the inside. Well, in like five seconds when we go inside. Don't tell me the odds. We're literally going inside right now. <laughs> that odds? I'm not telling you odds of anything. The odds are one and one I that we're going to see some cool. Shirt. Why didn't I, wear I know. Star Wars I feel shirt. dumb. I'm wearing I a Hulkamania a shirt. shirt. None of us are wearing Star Wars shirts. Well, we don't want to be that person that goes to the concert wearing the band's shirt. Two packs. Wait, this is just the start? That's just the start. So, get a little closer, take a look at some of those toys. Oh, Droid Fat 8.5, wow. <laughs> Feel free to pick up and 
Um, That's a good grade of fed. I'm not going to throw prices around. Right in the center. Is that? Yeah. Yep. Oh my god. Dude. Yep. Oh my god. It's real. It exists. How about that? Uh, oh my god. How about that right up there on the top to the right? Vlix was never. Mr. Vlix. Never made. Why? I didn't think he was ever made. He was made uh, uh, abroad. That's why he. Oh, on a card. That's right. Yeah, you, Brazil like or something, right? Yeah. 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 Never, never domestically. Kind of like Yak Face. He has the majority of the collection already graded AFA. They're, they're all twelves, and those are DTs. Yeah. This those collection has right all three. We have all three. Oh, Ben. ben Sealed ben. ben. Yes. Yeah. That's gonna be in the next auction. All right. So a loose, nice Ben. Personally, I know of went for twelve. A friend of ours, yeah. a partner of ours, had yeah. one. That's potentially the only card one out there. I don't know how many. Of the got. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Justin can't even stand up straight. <laughs> what a grail. His Padawan and his uh, former partner up there. That's insane. I mean, that's insane. Got a real vinyl cake right there. Yeah, look at him, how cute is he? Carded vinyl cake. We just got a, we just got a loose one. I we... can't believe the grade on this stuff. So do they never do a oh, Power of the Force carded Akbar, is that why that's? That's a proof card. That's okay. a proof card, just like the Boba Fett proof card there. Yeah, that's insane. What's the story with this collection? I, is, it's uh, a, it's the collector, <laughs> and he wanted the best of the best, and he bought the best of the best, and now it's decided it's time to move it on. So this is, this is stuff? not yet. <laughs> it's not him. Not yet. Not but, yet. <laughs> not yet. But, but he is welcome to bring it here yes. anytime. Dude, oh everything's graded. All right. He has all sixteen. He has all sixteen yeah, variations. It's a complete set cool. of three packs. Really? Really? It's all of them. Jesus. These are some of the highlights that are going to be spread out over the auctions, but these are the ones that are going to be in the very next one, right? Yeah, this is going to be up for the, the first November, auction. Like these so. pieces right here. I have a, I have a personal belief what the Kenobi might do. What's your what personal do you belief? Taking bets. I believe that it could that it could hit fifty. I think so too. 40, 50, I know a loose nice one. I know yeah. I know for a fact. I think what? between so the three cumulatively. They could hit 100. Yeah, I think so too. Now on the rare scale, which maybe you've never gotten to see one, this is an actual resin. Oh, the cast of Anakin. Wow. Yeah, it's the actual resin painted prototype. Wow. Wow, so much cooler than the one we always get in every collection. Right. Yeah. God, you can see the brush strokes on that thing. And we also have the one that they use for Toy Fair with the mock-up card that they actually hand mounted the blister to and then another sort of hand painted early test figure on it. Wow. So I want to look at that vinyl Jawa again. <laughs> we finally got one, like and, and we're keeping it. But not on a card obviously, a loose. And we just had a great 85. Wow. <laughs> Unpunched. I mean, come on. The Vader case on the bottom is the rare one with yes. the bounty hunters. It has all bag. the bounty hunters. The bag. And we also yeah. have the Bespin one in the back for a future auction. Have I've seen never that? seen that. I don't know that I've ever seen that. I didn't know that existed. That's a 95 mint on a 12 back. There's. I never met a farm boy I didn't like. <laughs> Wow, man. Unpunched. It doesn't even have like any remnants of a price sticker on it. This never made it to it was a case fresh. Yeah, it never made it to I don't know that I've ever seen a 90 anything. 95. No, not, this is the highest grade. Like, it, you can't, there is no higher if grade. They, if they had a census, I'm sure that yeah. would be at the very top. We had a few people look at this and they Ooh. believe this could be the highest one in existence, plus the coins reversed. That's weird. And. And that's a 90. Almost all the time, the droids' bubbles went totally dark. Yeah. Almost every time. So the fact that that bubble's still mostly light. There was a time that I remember when, when you run out of twelve packs, when nobody cared at all about the droids or the Ewoks figures carded. You could you could get them for nothing. Not the yeah. case anymore. Nope. Because the real collectors got what they want yep. of the regular run, and now they're like, okay, what do I move to now? That's why prototype stuff. Has has gone the way it's going. Logo. Now the toy Boba Fett. That'll be in the next auction. Oh man, boy, you got a great Fett collection here. Yeah, this is this is somebody's dream. Weird about this Fett. I think it's one of the only ones that came with a black blaster. I think most of them come with the blue. Yeah, that's a Battlestar Galactica. He that's has a piece of cardboard. Upgraded. That's what I'm. That's exactly right what there. just went through my brain. Special I'm looking at this came like. With the it's big a card. Figure. Yeah, it is amazing. AFA will grade anything. They will display anything. Are the cases expensive? Yes, they very are, expensive. Right? I mean, the Millennium Falcon is graded. The Death Star is graded. I mean, everything like acrylic. Cases. Yeah, they have a flat back there for the Max Rebo band. 
that is in a case like that. It's you can make a, cop, a small end table out of it. The case Huge. is that big. It's crazy. You know? Yeah, because that's a massive case. There's there's a lot more. I'm a GI Joe guy. Than this. Like I am a GI Joe guy. <laughs> I have a Cobra Commander yeah, back. Don't take off this the shirt. Option, don't take off the shirt. We have three and three quarter inch prototypes, original. I can't get into oh, oh, Original oh, hard art. <gasps> yeah. Wait, 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 wait. Is that here? Yep. You mean? Yes. Yeah, we'll get to well, that. You don't. You don't mean the art? <laughs> the <Yeah>. actual <laughs> art painting that they put on the cars. <laughs> card art. Kind uh, of I think we have it for three different characters. Sorry. You just killed my friend! <laughs> That's the stuff dreams are made of. I never thought that even ever came out of Hasbro. All right, now the tears are starting to come. So. <laughs> wow. I'm listening, I love Star Wars. I, I'm not, this is, but that's my... I cool. didn't think I'm any of that. I, didn't, I never thought any of that art actually made it out of Hasbro, because that's that's the stuff of legend. The greatest thing about GI Joe, Star Wars is awesome, it, but it's it's just images from the movies. Mm -hmm. The GI Joe art is original. insane. It's what, it's what made it, it. It built it up in your head. Looking at those those cards and the stories that those that those file cards told you is what made me want everything when I was a kid. It, it, Dude, how? It was my life as a kid, man. It was my, absolutely my life as a kid. Are we ready for the next part? Are you ready for the next part? I, I don't know if ready is the right word, but yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm I mean, if this was we're it, I'm go. fine. Well, we're going to give you <laughs> Star Wars Part Two and the graded G.I. Joe and other figures. And then we'll show you the actual stuff. auction stuff that's going to be in our auction. next auction that's coming up. There might in be some interesting things weeks. in there for everybody. I've been at Higgs 32 years, started in 1985 as a shipping assistant, and 32 years later, president of the company. So a lot of transition along the way from shipping assistant to cataloger, to photographer, to merchandise manager, production manager, general manager, and then current form president. I went to business school, took accounting, two semesters, had to get out. Couldn't do it anymore. So Ted said, come full time. Uh, so I did and never looked back. To think it would blossom into what it it did, mm -hmm. you know, no. The transformation of Hakes from the very beginning, 1967, till now, 50 years later, is monumental. Uh, and my 32 years of that ride is been pretty incredible. Obviously you have a large variety of things. I see you have a lot of vinyl albums on the walls, you have a lot of comic books. What's your favorite era of all this type of stuff? One word, everything. And that's a byproduct of being at Higgs this long. There's nothing I can pinpoint that I like better than something else. I like vintage, I like modern. And we have to sort of like modern. Our parent company is Diamond Comic Distributors, uh, the sole distributor of product to comic book stores. Being a lifelong comic book fan, you know, I like old comics, I like new comics, I like all the related merchandise, I like statues and toys, and it's sort of how I got started was comic books morphed into buying the merchandise. Um, all along though, a music fan, so collected music, uh, that's my biggest collection is vinyl, uh, CDs, I have about 10,000 albums all together. We have 200 categories in every one of our auctions. I like something out of every 200 categories, unfortunately. As you can see, I mean, the walls are full here. Mm -hmm. This is overflow from what didn't work at home or fit at home. Becoming a collector is, you're born with it. To try and teach someone to be a collector, it doesn't happen. So it's good when you have two people that are sort of on the same page. Every year we do three catalogs, mm -hmm. um, which translate into three auctions. There were years past where we did five. Uh, it was a little different back then. It was more, we owned the material decades ago, as opposed to now, auctions have really become a consignment business. Much more difficult to sort of deal with what we do, 150 consigners each auction, get all the items in a timely manner and put them together. Three auctions a year, but that translates into three catalogs, each about 300 pages long, and about 2,500 to 3,000 items. So about four months from start to finish, from the time we get our first item in to the time that the last item sells at auction. The one piece I have that is sort of the be all end all for me is we talked about vinyl, my record collection, and that's my, not my number one love. I have a Miles Davis signed album that he also did a little head sketch. What's your favorite part about this entire world? It keeps you youthful and, and the thrill of the hunt. There are pieces out there I know I want, I hope to get someday. There are pieces I didn't know existed that when I find out I get excited about. But again, going back to saying how you're sort of born a collector, it's just always been in me to hunt, to seek those pieces. So I get a great amount of joy when I find a piece that I've always wanted and even more so when I get a piece that I never knew existed. And, and at the same time, we have a clientele that is of the same mindset. So it's very rewarding to me to connect someone with that piece they've always been looking for.
All right. This is where old pipers go. Oh, I already die. see some stuff. So this is the rest of the auctions that'll be in the future. It's a nice alien, man. That is about <laughs> as nice as it gets. Holy crap. I know, yeah, that's the first thing I saw holy, when I came in. Do you know how rare these are? Yeah. Do you know how rare these are? I cried when there was no ring rate to no go with the horse. Oh. oh my god, this is all from the same guy? Yes. Yeah. All this is from the same guy? Yes. Paul, do you see the G.I. Joe Holy Grail? Do you want to go get closer to it? Is it unpunched? You can get closer to it's it. It's probably sealed if it's great. Move items, yeah. pull it out. Oh, hello, beautiful. <sighs> Look at all that acrylic. I want to see what it got. You can turn that into a coffee table. Oh, oh it's just an 8 0. It's the crazy one I was telling you about, cat. That's, oh, that's, oh, that's wow. a big piece. I mean, that, that is a that. case. For just look at the, the tape on that. Never got a price tag. I gotta tell you, my box doesn't look much worse. It shows too. By, by 85. I didn't. Care. I was done with Star Wars. Yeah, I didn't care by 85. Which is why it's worth what it's worth. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And it was all Joe for me. All Joe. All day. I mean, I had the I had the early stuff, and, and I had too. most of the Star Wars stuff, but until '82. But but Joe's just just encompassed. When '82 hit, Joe came. Star Wars was kind of done for me. I loved it still, but figure figure wise, this didn't compete with no. GI Joe's full arm. No. And then you know, no. The, the Star Wars vehicles, I always loved it. Like I used to love putting my Joe's in my shuttle because I love Star Wars vehicles. Mm -hmm. I'm like Star Wars now. I'm like overwhelmed with Star Wars right now. This is a definitely. A, it's hard to like, take it all in. Yeah, yeah. Like I want to, I want to like appreciate every single piece, but it's it's impossible. There's just too much of it. The stock that we had, just when I first started, in the, in in the we call it the it, it used to be that room with all the Star Wars stuff. It used to be just chocked full of extra stock, and there were oh my god, it, it was just awesome stuff. Card, tons of carded and Star Wars and. Superpowers and just the evil Knievel and all kinds of just like really sweet toys and all awesome stuff that we just had extra stock of that was left over from when we were downtown. We have another division called Diamond International Galleries, Dig, and Dig is on eBay. They sell all our low end stuff. They've sold like a lot of our, they sell like a lot of these buttons and things Dig will come and take. That room where the Star Wars was was full of old stuff inventory pretty much pick through I mean yeah, value wise but they clean that out and then they're selling all that stuff on eBay so we kind of do eBay through that and, the stuff that's uh, not worth putting up on auction I guess right? yeah and okay. we also have the opportunity we have that's a local auctioneer right yeah. that if we have like low-end stuff or just sort of stuff he'll gladly take and sell for the people we had a rock and roll poster collection and a comic collection come through and we were gonna buy them but the consigner was a little you know you know and I understand that you know they were a little afraid to just sell it to us for a price cause you know everyone's afraid of you know we're very reputable and we would never sure but everyone's afraid like oh, am I getting exactly so we're like that's fine so one of the coolest things G.I. Joe ever did is right yep. here yep I bought it so weird I bought it at Bosco I bought it at Boscov's when it, the first time it hit the I know. Oh, How many of us just got that and ripped it open, threw it? Oh, that's that's exactly what I did. I totally opened it. I mean, I had to have them open. The mirrored sides. They're basically the Corsican brothers. They are. Yes. Literally. That's my. Oh, yeah, they're, they're from Corsica. They're from Corsica. Yeah, so. from Corsica. But that's the GI yeah, Joe never did another card like that. We sent the low end to auction. Thousands. Yeah. Scareglow is one of the more rare yeah. He-Man yeah. things. Yeah. So exactly. having them carded so is cool. So this is the variant. This yeah. is the card differences. This is like, yeah, it looks like so how the bubble is different. Yeah. yeah. Get a base and put it on the Because I was going to say, what's the difference so between the, the two? Box, I, this I is the variant. The brown I've snake is the big so just deal. The okay. And they do both? And then, like I said, it's the box. Yeah, that's right. Okay. I have a blister on it right here. Yeah, okay. Interesting. I mean, how does that look anything like Harrison Ford? Yeah, it wasn't an improvement at all. I mean, we just posted one. I'll take all the kids that work for them or everyone they can get. Go get a free of you stand in line all day and we'll pay 
So in the that's, show, that's the flyer that we made just for this collection. Um, it's sort of the highlights and things. Russell Brand. Was it like, uh, no, we have a ton of those. Like I don't cry know. as you were picking your stuff up? What's that? We cry if you were going That I don't know. I don't think. I heard they hadn't seen it in years, like physically seen it, like it was in storage. Yeah. Uh -huh. I believe that. That's, so, that's the only way I can. What are all these, these cards? Are the are proofs. Catalog. These are the proof cards. Like you were like, Actually, those these are all the, all the proofs. There's Revenge of the Jedi. I think we've got some Power of the Force Try logo. That's a, is a revenge. Yeah, it's a revenge. This is what I dig a lot. These little, these little Takara. He's making his way around the room. Figures that came boxed like this that are just so interesting. And then this is like the star. This is the stormtrooper. That is version of like the Chewie, yeah. the Japanese. Play figure. <sighs> well, they didn't even distinguish this on their label. Mm -hmm. you Have you ever seen one of those? To... Where it had all of them together? In one no. box. Special by Effort. 99P. Tauntaun, Wampa, Luke, and Han in the same box as a set. That's awesome. That's really cool. That's, I never saw that before. Never. Special by 99 pence. Yeah. Variants? Yes. Like Brown Heart Luke or Big Head Han. Well, there's an R5D4 variant. I don't know what card it came on. I was thinking, oh, maybe because it's on that. Thank you for trusting us to come here. Because that's a huge thing. You know. Yeah, it is. Yep. Okay. Just like a, you know, you would never think. Just a warehouse. Yeah, it's just an unassuming oh, yeah, warehouse. Yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah, with a rotten yeah, old Jeppy cool. sign on the side of it. Yeah. Did you see that? Okay, so we're going to have to rearrange a little bit of this. I'll move my laptop. Well, I'll take the uh, camera bag. Because then you can put the long boxes in this way. All right, all right. Safe journey. Thanks, guys. Take care, man. Drive safe. Good seeing you. Yeah, guys, see ya. bring another hug. All right. See ya, guys. Nice meeting. It's awesome. Thank you. See you, guys. All right, guys. Love you, Mike. Drive. See ya. It's the best trip to Pennsylvania I ever had. Great. As you can see, we've been left speechless. I don't have a whole lot to say. But my emotions on the inside are going nuts. I, I got to hold what is probably a sixteen to seventy thousand dollar action figure in my hand, and like they let me do it. Yeah, they here. like told me it was fine. Here, take whatever you want off the shelf and look at it. Yeah. Okay. The magnitude of what we just witnessed and held in our hands. There's no scale for it. It's not something that anyone ever gets to do. This no. is by far the highest graded, most complete Star Wars vintage toy collection I think that's ever been amassed that will eventually be up for public auction. auction. Anybody can make an account with Hakes, sign up, and bid. If you see something that you want to put a bid on, by all means, like you're, anybody is up to to grab these items. Just the Star Wars stuff that we saw today. What did you say? It'll probably get like two million dollars. Over two million. I mean, we've seen a lot of stuff, right? But we've never seen this much quality stuff together in one collection. You know, usually somebody will have one of these pieces in a collection, and then I've never seen this actual quality of stuff. The fact that that DT Ben is graded 8-0 on a card. He's, he's fresh unpunched. The only DT Ben I've ever seen was a loose, nice DT Ben, but not on a card. That's gonna be one of the rarest production Star Wars things. The one that you saw as well, how much did that one go for, the loose DT loose, Ben? I don't think he was on, he was on circulated, like, but he was, I don't think he was graded, and he did 18,000. 18,000 for a loose action That's figure. That's a down payment on a house. Yeah. yeah. Um, also, if you guys don't know what DT means, it means double telescoping. It's their lightsaber that they got. So. Yeah, the normal lightsaber just, you know, this one. So. They had all three. They had all three DTs. Luke, Vader, and Ben. And those were, the, those were the only figures that Vintage Star Wars Kenner made that double telescope, correct? Yes. Okay. Now, if I were to find a, a double telescope loose just in a bin, and it wasn't broken, 
much could I get for the weapon alone? Just well, the saber? It depends on, like, Vader's, there's a rarity. Luke is a lot more, Luke, Luke is the easiest to find. Still, though, it's a $500 saber. Maybe more, maybe a $1,000 saber. Maybe Star Wars is the same. Vader, bump that to five or $6,000 for just the saber. Just, just, just. Complete the unbroken. Just the saber. Yeah. Because the figure's the figure. You know, it's an... It's just the it's lightsaber is different. Vader's Vader. They didn't change Vader. You know, he's got to have an early... Uh, it only came with an early figure, so he's got to be an early Vader to match the saber. But it's really not about the figure. It's about the saber. When you're buying that DT Ben, you're really just buying a blue double telescoping lightsaber. Everybody gets their panties in a twist over vinyl Jawas and... You know, rocket firing fets, which are both crazy rare, popular, known pieces. The DTs aren't as known. They're not as, uh, they don't have like the rock star quality. Yeah. I don't know. The, the, the promenade. The, they're, they're much cooler and, and rarer, but they're just not as well known to the general public, I guess you would say. On the rocket fire Boba Fett, when you turned it around and you could see where the little rocket goes in, it was like, this is the shit of legends right yeah. here. And the fact that the rocket got its own little separate compartment. Yeah, that's the other thing is the AFA, their acrylic cases are, they're custom, I guess, right? They have a standard one for Star Wars figures. Yeah. But, you know, if you're getting the Hoth battle play set, those probably aren't sitting around very often, so they have to make those yeah. custom. Our era of Star Wars that we have mainly collected throughout the show is the stuff that came out when we were young. The, it's eight dollars. The, the early to mid '90s stuff, and we have the appreciation for the vintage figures, but we just—it's so far out of our financial wheelhouse. We've only got four or five original vintage card carded figures, and they're you know they're like maybe $50 a piece that we're paying for them. And to us, we're like, holy shit, that's Damn, a lot of $50? money. Because the action figures that we're used to getting are the $10 Toy Biz uncanny figures or Terminator. But I'll take an opportunity like this to look at and hold the figures any day. Do I think we'll ever get to a point where we'll be buying regular installments of vintage figures? I don't know. I'm scared. <laughs> I hope so. Maybe not. I don't know. How many do you own? Like, how many, okay, so I know that you have a store, so that means personal collection versus stock is always kind of like a gray area. You own it, but you don't. Yeah. How many actual pieces of vintage Star Wars, so let's say figures, let's just cut down to figures. How many do you own as Penelope and Justin, not as Farpoint toy Cardi people? Or loose? The, no, we don't, well, we don't collect Cardi. Right. We have a complete Kenner Star Wars figure collection uh, that is ours. 96? 96? Or is it oh, 70? It's more than that. 101, I think. <laughs> okay. Um, Are we including the job on that? Is that ours? Yeah. It's, it's like 101. But um, but then there's droids and Ewoks figures we're going to add to that. So I think it's all and said and done. We haven't done the droids and Ewoks yet. Because when you run out of figures to do, what do you do next? Go to the next series. And Ewoks, right? So. Uh, we have a complete collection except for two coins, Anakin and Yak Face. Which are, what, $800 each? And one's eight, one's three. Wow. Um, eight. Yeah. Which one's eight? Yak Face. Yeah, because he wasn't available to mess with Just the coin? Just the coin, $800. It's worth more than the Yak. Yeah. They only made him with a coin in Australia. They did him on a, a Canadian, you know, a tri-logo card, but he didn't have a coin. So the coin version only came out in Australia. The coin is the same here. Who wants to pay eight hundred dollars for a coin? Wow. And Anakin's coin is about three hundred dollars. For a coin. For a coin. Bitch, I didn't even know existed. I can't wrap my head around. Like I'm excited, I want to talk about, but I can't even remember all the pieces. What you saw because so there was so much. much. So that yeah. means you might actually watch the episode to recall it. <laughs> sure, I will. Yes, yeah, so I'll watch. Okay. Yeah, I'll watch the episode. I just want to give a giant shout out, thank you to Alex, Mike, and Todd for letting us back into their so. warehouse. You guys are gonna get a giant thumbs up oh. as per usual. Don't forget Kelly, who we oh, met at the end. Kelly, who we met at the yeah. end, yes. Giant thumbs up. You guys were so awesome to allow us to come into your auction house and to pick up this stuff and view it and take pictures of it. Well, just inviting us back, yeah. period, in general, and to think of us when this collection came to be. This, I don't know if in our lifetime anything like this will ever come about again. Let's see how good. Thank you guys. Yeah, thank you for 
Yeah, you're totally welcome. Well, you were the first people we thought about when they told us about this. We were like, uh huh, uh huh. Uh -huh. The, the micro series Star Wars stuff that came out same time as what? Movies. So they came along. They came out alongside of all the other black box stuff. Sure. Okay. There's something for everyone there. They let me pick out a pin. I know Penelope got a pin. I did get a pin. I found this. I got a couple pins. Snow White pin. I have no idea where it came from, but I believe it's French because the back is not in English. They, uh, they gave me a Hicks collectible because they noticed I had some pins on my jacket here, just a few. And I got this awesome Indy 3 Last Crusade before it was even called Last Crusade. It's Indy 3 pin. So all the stuff that we saw, the Star Wars stuff, that will start getting rolled out at the Hakes Auction 222 in November. Yes. This coming November. So if anyone saw a piece that they would want, they will start becoming available this coming November. If you guys had taken us there and just one of those pieces had been there, you know, one DT, one Jawa, one Rocket Fire Book Fet, it would have been an amazing trip and we'd have the same conversation. The fact that there were so, it just one after the next, after the next, an amazing hammer, once in a lifetime. They had every Boba Fett thing you could want. Yeah, it was Party a droids, Boba Fett heavy collection. And then that giant Boba Fett. Oh yeah, that was Oh, amazing. how about those Revenge of the Jedi proof cards? Yeah. Should we talk about that for a second? All of them? Every All of the ones? One. It wasn't one, it wasn't two, it, it wasn't just those ones. Dozens of them. One. It was just literally dozens of them. Anyone can set up an account. I know there's a buyer's premium. They have some of the lowest buyer's premium. Yes. In the auction world, so that's nice. Um, and I think the bids go up in increments of $5, I believe. Okay. Don't quote me, but I think that's I don't know if there will be many $5 bids on this auction coming up. No. I can't wait to see what some of this stuff goes for. I know. I know, I'm excited. So overall, today was a great day. We're headed back now. I wanna go to sleep. I got really exhausted for some reason. I hope the road that we get on is bumpier. Yes, I do too. I guess we can... Jesus Christ. even like turning the camera? I know. Well guys, if you like this video, if you like us, give us a giant thumbs up. Subscribe. If you haven't already, please subscribe. If you are already, thank you for watching us. We hope this season is as good as last season, if not even better. He's pointing in the back. Of Give some love to our friends at Farpoint Toys. Check them out at farpointtoys.com. They also have an eBay store, and be sure to like their page on Facebook. There's only one thing left to do. Autobots, roll out. Do it. Going home. Yeah, it told us to take this one. You saw that, right? It said to stay. That's why I was staying in that lane, because it was supposed to be that way. Okay, well, it can turn us around. Okay. It's all right. Uh, depends on who you ask. Not me. Dude, he came with that name, too. A little pupper. Destro, that's good.